that's right. You can see how gorgeous it is behind me, okay? Look at these, the queens alone, gorgeous. And then, of course, you got the feather boa with these amazing colors to celebrate Pride Month, okay? We are breaking world records starting at 11 o'clock. And joining me this morning is Spencer Camerano, the adjudicator with the Guinness Book of World Records. Yes. So, how does this all work? So, there are guidelines that all of our records must meet, and they each have different set of guidelines. So, today, what I'm going to be doing as the official Guinness World Records adjudicator is I'll be making sure that it's one continuous piece, that there's a clear pattern throughout, and that all the measurements that were done are correct, and that it beats our current record. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the campy theme for Pride, but how do you even figure out what world record it is that you want to break? I mean, a feather boa, what? So this was, this is all the idea of Ripley's, believe it or not, Times Square and Madame Tussauds, New York. They came to us saying that they wanted to do something for Pride. We sort of came up with a few ideas that fit and that would fit our guidelines. And they settled on the longest feather boa. And it's a great visual. It's okay. very fun. This kicks off at 11 o'clock. How long does it take for you to figure out if they've done it? This particular one should only take about 15 minutes, I'd say. And then we'll know for sure if an official Guinness World Records title has been achieved. Okay. Well, Nat Natalia joins me here from Madame Tussauds. How did did you guys get involved with this? Well, uh, Madame Tussauds is constantly striving for interactive experiences, and we thought to ourselves, let's collaborate with our sisters here in Times Square, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and we wanted to come up with a really fun, engaging experience and event to celebrate World Pride, and why not to bring all the queens out on 42nd Street, get everybody together, and do something really fun and extra. And also tell me about the Trevor Project. People can come down and donate? Yes. Yeah, so both attractions are giving guests an opportunity to contribute to the Trevor Project, being that it's such important organizations, particularly for this community. And for Particularly for Pride. Awesome. Okay, guys. So this is 1.2 miles long. There are going to be queens lining down 42nd Street. You can come check it all out at 11 o'clock. It's free to come watch, so why not? Something fun to do, and it's rain or shine, of course. We're live in Times Square. I'm Calorama. We'll send it back to you.